right, today starts the uh, greenhouse number three transformation. It is February the 9th. Um, Got to get all this cleaned out of here. And uh, just like last year in greenhouse two, we took out all these raised bed looking things and uh, changed the entire look of that greenhouse. So today we start the process of doing the same in here. Stay tuned. Well, I'm gonna stop here now. This is, uh, I've got these cleared out. I still have to clear that one out. And then I'm gonna start pulling the wood out from this, um, from these beds and uh, getting this flooring out, leveling all this out, and then we'll go from there. But this is where I'm gonna stop it for right now. This is part one. Uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more to come. Okay, tubers. This is actually day two, two and a half maybe. I had part of a day in here. Uh, what I've done is cleared everything out and I've uh, taken a hoe and scraped up all of the grass and stuff that was growing in, on top of the uh, woven ground cover. Um, and except for back there at the very back and right here. I haven't finished this, but I'll get that later. But I'm getting ready to take all this out. And what I've done so far is I've pulled up. Uh, this is all. This was all stapled on there. Um, this fabric over top of the wood, all the way down. I went through this one and came down this one. Still have to go to the outside over there. These two and that side. Once I do that, I'm going to cut that down there and start pulling this out. All right, I'm taking the wood frames apart. I've got this side done, but I wanted to show you something. I don't know how this is the farther north you get, but uh, down here in the south, we have carpenter ants and termites. And I don't use treated wood. So this is what happens within just one year. I built this last year. These things are, they're being eaten up and I don't use any kind of pesticides in here. So it's a, uh, it's a smorgasbord for them. But anyway, just wanted to show you that. Um, that's ugly. And that's just one of the reasons I'm not going to ever grow in the ground. Well, I'm not going to say ever, but not for the most part anyway, growing in the ground here in the Mid-South. All right, here's what I got out of there. I still have a little bit left to do. Let me show you what I got. That's what I got done yesterday. Everything's out of there, there, and almost there. You can see I've got to do this side, that one, and that one. Then I'm going to take all this. Well, not all of it. Some of this black ground cover out of here, I'm gonna leave the stuff on the sides and lay over top of it because the sides go outside. Let me show you. That keeps things from getting inside here. You can see how I got it sitting outside too. It goes out about a foot on each side. And over there, I've got the ground cover covering everything. But anyway, I'm going to lay over top of this, kind of push it up to the side, level all this out, and then lay it back down and put new ground cover over it. That was day two and a half. Still got a lot of leveling to do in here. And I'm doing it with that. Help. All right. I have it just about leveled out. Been raking all morning. 
it's pulling everything from up there this way i do want a little slant coming this way not much but a little bit because my reservoir is going to go right there that's where we are this will be the new herb and greens house all right the best way to find low spots is to get it all smoothed out i just use the tractor running back and forth with those big wide tires and it, it smooths it out pretty good but you can really see the low spots and uh i told you i was digging a reservoir out a spot for the reservoir right here i'm gonna put a sump i believe on that side so if water gets down in there it'll pump it out and the uh, tank won't float but anyway uh if if the tank runs low the water level from the water table rises um that tank will come up so i'm going to put a sump in there uh in a bucket to the side to keep it from uh, doing that but anyway this is what we're doing i'm pulling all this stuff out toting it around filling low spots smoothing it out all right well if i seem a little out of breath it's because yeah i'm out of breath 58 years old digging holes big enough to bury somebody in anyway um this is how far down i'm going that's where the bucket's going to go for the sump i gotta cut a hole in a couple holes in the bottom good size holes so that uh if the water drains in um seeps in this hole it'll get into there and i can pump it out i don't know i'm a visionary i throw enough crap against the wall something's gonna stick it might work we'll see all right and i've laid these back down both sides they go under and out on both sides so i just kept that now we're rolling more ground woven ground fabric all right, I've sunk about half of that thing. And I have this ready for the sump right here. There's the bucket down there. So I just knocked some dirt in. And there's my sump. Now I just got to build the rest of this thing. And a water wall. Stay tuned. <laughs> 